Hello everyone and welcome back to the 17th episode of the S&P Saga. This week, I'm telling you which two new companies will be added to the index in two weeks. Let's dive right into it for the week ending on March 1st, 2024. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,137.08, a 0.9% from last week. The PE ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 27.88, a 0.26 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. Nvidia is up 86.8%. 6 billion or 4.4 percent on continued investor excitement about AI. Meta is up 46.6 billion or 3.8 percent as it was reported that the company refused to partner with Google for its VR headsets. AMD is up 42.2 billion or 14.8 percent fueled by AI excitement right behind Nvidia. Broadcom is up 41.5 billion or 6.8 percent on news that it will sell its remote access unit to KKR. Microsoft is up 38.3 billion or 1.3 percent on no particular news. Moving to the losers, Alphabet is down 89.6 billion or 5 percent after pausing the most recent rollout of its Gemini AI. Apple is down 44.2 billion or 1.6 percent as the company announced that it was canceling its electric car project to focus on AI development. United Health is down 35 billion or 7.2 percent after it was reported that the company is the target of an antitrust probe by the U.S. Department of Justice. Berkshire Hathaway is down 24 billion or 2.7 percent after announcing that the company would have a hard time finding acquisition candidates going forward. Coca-Cola is down 7.2 billion or 2.7 percent on no particular news. This week, there were changes announced to the S&P 500 that will be effective on March 18th, 2024. Whirlpool, down 22 percent over the past year, moving to the S&P Midcap 400, will be replaced by Decker's brand as the company is up 150. 15% over the past year. Zion's Bancorp, down 20% over the past year, moving to the S&P Midcap 400, will be replaced by Supermicro as the company is up an incredible 820% over the past year. So how to use the information we just covered? This week, Alphabet could present a good price if last week's sell-off was exaggerated. It should be noted that this is the least expensive members of the magnificent seven stocks based on the growth valuation. Seven companies will release earnings during the week ending March 8, 2024. And most interesting will be Costco on March 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $3.63 EPS on $59.13 billion of revenue for their Q2 2024 results. Broadcom on March 7th at 5.15 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $10.42 EPS on $11.73 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. To catch up on how Nvidia saved the stock market in Q1 2024, you should watch this video next.